It's Cheryl. I have a quick small Dollar Tree in Marshall's Hall. I went to a Dollar Tree in another town today just to look for these products and I found most of what I was looking for. I hate that I have to leave and go to a whole other town. Um, my local Dollar Tree stinks. It never has anything new. They always have like these um, and the one that I went to the other day didn't even have these. They usually have the regular standard items from Dollar Tree, but anything new or anything not Dollar Tree name brand, they usually don't have. Um, I still can't find any Physician's Formula. This store didn't have any either. I wanted to get another one of the eyeliners and a couple of, um, for my daughter, and a couple of the big shadows. She had some, but they cracked, so. If I find them, I find them. If I don't, I don't. But for a buck, I figure, might as well check. I picked this up for her. I've seen these in hauls, like in January. A lot of people were picking these up. Um, her auto box is all stretched out. The rubber and stuff, they're guaranteed. So you send it back to the company and they'll send you a new one. So in the meantime, I had bought a hard case for the phone. We have the same phone. And, um... She has the hard case on, but doesn't have a screen protector. And my grandchildren play with her phone constantly, so she she needed one. So I picked this up. It fits the Samsung Galaxy S3, which is the phone we have. It's in neon pink. I didn't bother opening it because um, it's not for me, and I don't want to fool with it. And I know it's just a sticker, so I, you know it's better if she does it than I just fool around with it. Um. Then I found three of the Sally Hansen Salon Effects nail strips. It says polish strips, but they're really like a sticker. So, um, I found these three. First, I found Wishful Pinking. It's like a pink color. It's kind of like a salmon pink. So, I like that. Then I picked up Groove. And it's like a neon green. And the last one I picked up is Preps Cool. I love this one. They only had one of this one. I would have bought like all they had. The silver, it's silver and black. I know it's summer, but I like it a lot. And um, I don't know if you can see, but the middle has like glitter. The little stripes are glitter, so it looks really pretty. I'm hoping um, to use these soon. I would not pay $30 for these three little boxes. Um, my Ocean State Job Lot had these and they were $3. I'd pay $3, but you only get 16 strips, which means you get to use them one time. And a dollar, yes. $10, no. I'd rather buy a nail polish. So, um,. I plan on wearing these, eight of these, and then two accent nails in the green, and then eight green with two of the pink. Then I found one of these. I've been looking everywhere at Dollar Tree for these. People were hauling these when they were starting to put out the Easter stuff. And my store, as always, never got any. Um, what I like about these is it has a nice handle on it, and I think it's like down home country-ish. And um, I like to drink Snapple, and it won't spill if the kids are over. It won't get tipped over and spill everywhere. Um, and the, the straw, the cup and the straw are connected, so you can't um, take the straw out. My grandson, Michael, likes to pull straws out of things, and then, as you know, whatever's in the, the um, glass cup or whatever you have the straw in, sprays everywhere. It just flips everywhere and makes a mess. So he can't do that with these. I had gone next door to Marshall's and I had found almost the same thing in Marshall's and they were $5.99. So I was really happy to pick this up at the Dollar Tree. I had purchased these. I purchased one for my granddaughter and one for my grandson at obviously at Old Navy. And these were either 5 or $7. I can't remember. So I either paid 10 or $14 for two cups for them. And it has the same feature. You can't take the straw out, which I thought was really cool. 
but I'd much rather pay a dollar than um, five or seven bucks a piece. Then I picked up this Airborne chewable tablets. It's in the berry. Whoops. And it has 116 tablets in it. My daughter works for the Department of Health, uh, where you go in and you get your license, a copy of your license, like your marriage license, a death license, uh, certificate, birth certificate, stuff like that. So, um, these would be good for her to boost her immune system because she deals with the public. And for a buck, I figured, yeah, that's good for her. Then I picked up Salon Selectives. My store hasn't had these, and they didn't have the little pot of the um, deep conditioner, because I would have picked that up for my daughter. Um, I usually only use Pantene, because it's the only stuff that works my hair. I've tried more expensive things, less expensive things, and it just makes my hair feel gross. So, it says this comes with 15% more. I used to use this in the 90s, um, when, they ha when everybody was using this or like herbal essence. Herbal essence stinks to me. It smells like that 70's Breck shampoo. Yeah, if you're really old you know what Breck is. I hated it. It smelled like wheat. Hated it, hated it. So anyway, um, they don't match. They don't have corresponding letters and numbers. So you can't buy an M in conditioner and an M in shampoo or a 3. So what I did was I just got two that were moisturizing. So it says they're color safe. Um, this one says moisturizes and gentle. This says daily treatment, moisture renewal. They're 14 ounces and they still have that awesome, awesome 90s um, apple scent. Oh, that if you know anything about Salon Selectives, you will love. Love, love. So I picked those two up. Oops. Okay, last thing I picked up at Dollar Tree was the Morton Epsom salt. It's a four pound container. They didn't have the scented ones. I would have liked to have gotten the eucalyptus one, but they didn't have any, so this is the one I got. Um, what I'm going to use this for, I'm definitely going to have this for a while. What I like to use this for is in the summer, spring, when you start taking out your sandals. I don't trust when you go to the nail salon and you get your pedicure done. I don't trust those bins. They don't really rinse them out too good. They don't use the chemicals to clean all the dead skin and everything out. I know it sounds disgusting, but I just buy a dish pan from Dollar Tree, soak my feet in there, and do my own pedicure at home. So I get, what do you call it, the um, foot sander. Sounds real attractive, right? And the um, scraper or whatever you call it buffer, I don't know, those two-sided deals, and the one with the metal, and then the other side is like a smoother, and then the foot file, I do that. So, I know, really not anything anybody wants to talk about, but I use this to soften my feet before um, I start putting different things on it. I soak them in the water and Epsom salt to get them ready. Then I use a Bath and Body Works um, foot scrub that has walnut shell in it, and I like that. And then I go from there. But yeah, so this is going to last me forever. So that's cool. I've never taken a bath in Epsom salt, so I don't know. Then I went to Marshall's, and this is a Michael Kors top. It has rouging at the top. It's black and white. It's um, a long sleeve, but it's a lightweight. And it was originally from Michael Kors. It retails for $79.50. I would never pay $79.50 for this. It's just a basic top, and it sold at Marshall's for $30. And then they had it for $15. So I couldn't pass up that. I mean, it's really, it's that stretchy, bouncy material, so you can't go wrong with that. Um, it just has the little zipper that has the little Michael Kors, and I figured this is lightweight enough that I can wear this um, through the spring and the summer. It has, like, the nautical colors or the stripes, so um, 
I think this will be nice to wear at the playground with the kids or something. You can wear this with jeans. You can dress it up. You can dress it down. Just a casual day or a shopping day. Just something comfortable. $15. How could I leave it there? And then I found this. It's the Ed Hardy. And it was only $15. So I couldn't leave that there either. It's the full size. Um, 1.7 fluid ounce. Um spray and the lotion it's a shimmering body lotion so the box has a dent in it don't care because you throw the box out and whatever was here it was probably a smaller perfume or one of those little things that you um load your perfume from here to take it with you to travel the only this side was ripped where that product was and then I ripped the rest in the store to make sure that this didn't wasn't expired or something because I know this has been around for a while and um, it's really cute packaging and oh I'm sure everybody has seen this before it's just a clear bottle I think it's really cute it smells really good it reminds me of the black and red um, Paris Hilton it's kind of the same scent it's a summery scent. Yeah. So I couldn't leave this there. And it comes with the lotion. And it says it's shimmer. I don't know. They, they don't smell bad. They didn't expire or anything. Um, the lotion, I was looking at it earlier. It looks like it'll be nice. You can't... S I don't have enough on my finger. It looks like it would be nice... Um, for at night if you're going out to put on your legs or your arms you can't really see it it's like a gold iridescence so anyway um, $15 I couldn't I couldn't leave it there the main product I mean you can't even buy this for 15 bucks so yeah you can't see it a little bit it's like a golden pearl sheen. So that is my small Dollar Tree and Marshall's haul. Thank you for watching, everyone. Ciao.